Hi, First Tee Player Level Kids. Um, Tammy Palmer, Program Director of the First Tee of the Golden Isles. Again with me, we have Coach Mason, and we're talking about uh, Lesson 6, which is developing confidence. Now, golf is difficult, right? How do we show, how can we gain confidence in golf? Because it takes a little while to, um, to develop the skill that in order to be successful. For sure, for sure. I think, and I think the biggest thing that we can do to help develop that confidence, like like Christian said, it's golf is hard, and it's one of those one of those games where there's always something that you can work on, and and that's the good thing about it is that there's so many different aspects. You have your short game, which is your putting and chipping. You've got your irons. You've got your driver. All those different things, those different components, and I think the most important thing we can do if, if we're struggling is to focus on what we're doing well. Say I played bad, but I was hitting my driver awesome. See, I can, I can focus on the that one thing that I was doing well, and, and that continues to you know help me push through and, and move past the, the difficult time and knowing that, uh, hey, I can hit my driver well, and I didn't putt that well. So I'm gonna work on what I wasn't doing too well, but continue to think about the things that I was doing really awesome. And how is like purposeful practice uh, go in line with confidence? Yeah, I think that helps with kind of those areas where you're struggling with. Like I said, if I was not putting too well on a specific day, I would, next time I went out to practice, I would really focus on putting and, and say it was short putts that I wasn't putting well. I really focused on that. So I think being able to break it down in, in the different sections, instead of just saying, oh, I played terrible today just because I had a, a high score, it's breaking it down into those sections and say, hey, I did pretty well in everything except for putting. Work on that putting and the next time you go practice and then try to put that together on the course. And, and how would you apply that to other areas of life, like for, for some of our students here, like at school, for example? Like, mm -hmm. how would you apply that to, to your schoolwork? Yeah, definitely. And there, for, for most people, there's different subjects, there's different types of classes that people are better at than others. And it's also just taking a step back and looking at, hey, look, I'm really good at math and science, but I'm not as good at English, or I'm really good at English and history, and I'm not as good at math and science. And, and finding those things that you, you need to fine tune and work on a little bit more and put that put that effort towards those little areas. And then over time, you continue to build it up. It's, it's not easy, it's not a quick overnight process, but highlighting those areas that we need to work on and, and really focusing on them can help us build confidence. There you go, guys. Practice makes confidence. I'll see you guys next week.